Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen table and today I'll be bringing you a combined review and showcase of my modifications done to the set 75311, the Imperial Armoured Marauder which is actually the Trexler Marauder from the Mandalorian TV show. We'll start off with the minifigures. Um, from the left, we've got the uh, brand new exclusive, as of this video, to this set, the Imperial Mortar Trooper, which comes with really cool yellow markings, a pauldron, and his own little mortar. He's got markings all along and also on the back, and a backpack carrying his mortar rounds. Then, what makes this set great for some army building are the two generic stormtroopers that comes with the set. And they do have their own faces. We've got a female stormtrooper and our more African-American stormtrooper. So it's nice to see that the stormtrooper corps is recruiting from all across the galaxy. And we've also got a new older version of the Grief Karga with that grey beard and some nice printing could probably be more not sure what though on the back but it's a nice print overall so yeah that's it for the figures of this set then we'll get into the main set which I'm happy about but not as happy as I intended to be with it it's got some really nice features and it's a fun build to be doing but it lacks some of the playability and storage that I wanted out of the set. <clears throat> we'll start off from the front, move these guys out of the way then, to focus on the main feature here. So here in the front you can open it up and it seats one minifigure, this rather basic chair and a little control panel in here. And you've got that nice gap so that the driver can see out of it. We've got the stud shooters here on the front firing. And then we've got the doors opening up, up and down. They probably took inspiration from the BTR 60 and 70 of the Russian armoured personnel carriers that also open up in the side like this one. So yeah, kind of a Soviet design here in the Star Wars galaxy. Like that. Then we have some main cannons here, looking like some kind of World War I tank. With these forward shooting guns that can of course fend off to the sides and quite a bit, almost all the way back. So we've got that. We've got some storage for imperial crates and we got this turret that is supposed to spin 360 but it only spins 180 degrees which is probably good for possibility but not for playability and since all these turrets on the marauders do spin 360 i kind of felt a bit sheeted with this set for that. But well, here in the back you can still open up and you can see a minifigure inside. You've got this little glass see-through wall that holds up the whole entire turret. And if you are to sit a minifigure, you will see their head popping up there. You've got the engines here in the back and then it's rather identical on the side. We flip it around here inside the ship. Hard to get some focus in there. But there you can see two minifigures, but it's a bit finicky. And since I've got rather large hands, it's a real hustle to get my hands in there and put minifigures in it. And I mean, these are supposed to be mainly armored personnel car carriers or APCs. Therefore, it feels rather cheap that you only get two seats and this one to actually have troopers that can dismount 
You can cram another trooper in here, but it isn't the easiest of feats to be doing. Well, that is it for the details on uh, the original Imperial Arm and Marauder. Now, I'll show you the things I have modified to make mine better. This is the original, so let's slide in the modified version. And it's a great build overall, by the way. It was my first, my day one purchase for this line. Uh, you drink be rather cheap and you got some great minifigures for all me building. Yeah, so that's about it for the arm and marauder, but let's get into the modified version. There were some things that I wanted to improve upon. Uh, we got kind of the same thing going on with the pilot and all that. Put an AT-80 -AT pilot driving this thing. The main thing you'll see is the roof that I've remade. I was not happy about how it turned out on the original one and I wanted to have full access to the interior. So we still have the hatch but a more natural looking hatch that opens up in the front like this for you to see all the way inside and you can lift off the whole entire roof on mine one and here you'll see the interior. So now we can have four troops standing inside of it and also I've crammed two people in the doors. So yeah, I just filled it with some of my own random storm troopers here. Like that. You can see there. So you have like full the dark two by two plates there. That's where you stand the troops. And you can really see into it and you can even fit more troopers I think if you just stand them straight along the grey plate instead in the middle. So yeah, you've got easy access and some nice tiling off and greebling on the roof. And it still attaches very snugly and you can still open up the front hatch. You might have to push it down a little bit so that you don't get the whole roof when you try to do that. Then, I also removed this annoying plate that just limits the turret's rotation that I didn't quite like. So, therefore, I moved it back in the middle so it still don't get that gap if you're firing the turret backwards but you can now spin it 360 degrees and fire towards the front as well which I think is a lot more accurate to what it does in universe and the playability on this having it being able to really strike with all turrets facing forward is a lot nicer. I also added some levers for the gunner since I felt like it lacked some controls for the Stormtrooper in the back. Yeah, so it's awesome, really easy modifications. And I just put, you know, tiles along the sides instead, raised the roof a little bit. Then you got these plates here to keep it in place and attach it. So it just slides into place and it won't slide off or anything. And just some more. Little greebling there with the grill pieces on the side. Yeah, so that is it for this review of the Imperial Armored Marauder 75311. And well, it's a good day one pickup if you don't want to spend it on the Mandalorian Starfighter or the other ships of the line. And it's a great army builder and troop transport for your Imperial Army. And the exclusive mortar trooper really makes it worth the money. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. I'm not used to doing these on the channel, but 
If you want to see more of my mocks and other videos, do subscribe, leave a like, comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.